Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen, along with Ev. We're your favorite Clinique executives here in the Washington, D.C. market. Today, we are here to talk to you guys a little bit about us and our Clinique journeys into this crazy world of beauty. Yeah. Um, so stay tuned, listen in, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our new channel. Perfect. all the time. I don't know how many times you've been asked, but how did you get into cosmetics? Why Clinique? And do you actually use all the products? I you get ever those, get asked that? I get those <laughs> questions all the time. <laughs> well, what we thought we would do today is answer those for you um, to kind of help you get to know us a little bit better, but also kind of see what our journey was with Clinique and kind of what products really influenced us the most that we like to share with our customers at the counter. And that way you also know, who are you listening to every week, Each right? Each week, like... right? Who are these people? Who are they? Yeah, we didn't actually come wearing the lab coat. It's actually a journey that we were on. And um, it's actually kind of interesting because I think everybody does have their own story. So how did you get started? Um, so I actually got started, I worked in retail and I remember specifically always looking at the girls that worked in the cosmetic department of mm. a department store and I always loved the idea of makeup and all how fun it was and those girls that worked there were so glamorous and glamorous right they were so <laughs> glamorous and I always thought like oh I want to do that yeah um and one day I that there was an opening and I went to my store manager and I said you know please please put me there yeah. and what was interesting is one once I got the job, it was more eye-opening than I thought um, from when I started. It was crazy how much training that they gave you yeah. and, you know, you really felt a part of something bigger. So that was kind was, of my Was start. the job very different than what you thought it was? It really was. So I thought it was, you know, you're going to be just, you know, selling makeup. And it was so much more than that. Um, I really loved the idea of the artistry behind it. But mm -hmm. once, um, once I got into it, I really loved what it allowed you uh, the people that you met and the yeah. stories that you uncovered and I loved the fact that working in cosmetics directly affects how people feel mm. and I think they're just that is the magic moment and that's what I love about working in this industry is you make women feel really confident and yeah. there's something about seeing a woman confident that I think is just so amazing. Well how many people can actually say that that's one of their main job responsibilities is to actually give women the gift of confidence so that when they leave us at a clinic counter and go out to their car in the parking lot they feel better about themselves. Or they like pull the visor down yeah. and they check themselves yeah, out yeah. like that's my favorite no I, I remember actually waiting on somebody it was early on in my career with Clinique at the time and there was a, a, a father that brought his young daughter over she was probably you know probably 16 or 17 and he and she wanted to have a makeover done so I had done the consultation and so it was funny she wound up not buying anything and you're kind of like oh you know so anyway they leave the counter and, or she leaves the counter and about an hour later the father comes back and he says to the other consultant I was with you know there was somebody a man that was working with my daughter and he looked pretty ominous and she goes he's around the corner <laughs> so the guy comes around and I'm like oh where is this gonna go right and he said I just wanted to thank you he said my daughter never looks so pretty and she feels so confident he said I want to buy everything that you put on her and I, I always remember that to this day because the fact that you can give that person that gift of not only she felt confident but he actually felt so great about it so that's so kind of cool you have yeah, these stories yeah. right? I I think what's great about this industry and what we're so lucky to yeah. get to do every day is not only do we get to wake up and go to a job that we're so passionate about, but you really get to touch the lives of others. And while our roles have changed and we might not always get to work with a customer every day, the, the people that wear the white lab coat, to be able to affect them so that they can have those stories, I think that's where the magic happens and that's what gets me out of bed in the morning is for every single woman wearing that white lab coat or our boy wearing the white lab coat right, inspiring right. confidence to other people it's 
really amazing. Yeah, totally, absolutely. So my journey into the whole cosmetic thing was a little different because I actually started as a part-time beauty advisor for our sister brand at, at Estee Lauder. And I was in college and I just knew that when I was in school, I wanted to work in the cosmetic industry. I mean, don't ask me why. I just, every paper I ever did was always about cosmetics, cosmetics. And I, it's maybe because I watched Young and the Restless during <laughs> classes, the breaks. And the family on that show, as you guys know, has uh, the Jabot Cosmetics. And I just thought it would be a fun, kind of industry app because it would always be changing and I, I like that in, in life. I like to see have newness in, in, in my life. So I, I started out selling that product and you know it's it's really interesting of how much you learn through going through all of this as well. You know not just what you learn on the job but what the brand teaches you like about all the products and everything. So again I feel very confident that this is the right brand for me. All right so how many years in the industry? Totally in the industry, my gosh, probably I would say 27. Wow. Totally, yeah. Wow. So, you know, it's it's and mostly with the Estee Lauder companies, really, and mostly with Clinique. So wearing the white lab coat is a real source of pride for me, as yeah. I know it is for you. And, it, and I, I, I'm a skincare guy, so like everything I'm about is about how do you create great skin and how do you make skin better and how do you solve people's concerns about their skin and give them the skin that they want. And I love it because that's what this brand was all mm -hmm. about. So I knew I was home when I, I came to work here. So you know, Ev, a, a lot of times we get asked do you actually use all the Clinique products? And, <laughs> yes. and the answer is yes, we wear the lab coat. Uh, and if you open up my medicine cabinet, there's a huge share of Clinique in mine. I don't know about you. I think my purse alone <laughs> might have like 40 lipsticks. <laughs> totally, totally. So what we thought we would do with you today is share the product that made the biggest difference for us when we started to use Clinique. And really, so I, I'm about to talk to you guys about my product, but it's what originally got me started. Like the first Clinique product I ever tried and really the first like fancy brand I had ever tried as a kid yeah. was Clinique. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so I'm gonna, why don't you go yeah. first? All right, so back in the day, this was like... Back in the day. <laughs> it was a long time. It was like 15 years ago. Back, um, I think I was a freshman in high school. I, uh, we had a local Belk store and I, my, my husband at the time worked there. So I was shopping around in there and I went to the clinic counter and I loved going to the clinic counter because it had that knobby thing and it the was- The clinic computer, yes. we used to call it the clinic yeah. computer. Yeah, and I'd always like go and figure out my skin type, like it might change, it never changed. Um, what skin type were you? Uh, back then was a three. A three, okay. Yep, um, so the clinic consultant at the time came up and she's like, we've got this gift, look at all the stuff you get for free, you just have to buy something. And that was like a big buzzword, yeah, was I free. get all this stuff. <laughs> for free. I mean, I think I was 15 years old, sure. I didn't have a lot of money. So I pick out this acne solutions, like an acne concealer. Oh. And it was like a pencil stick at yeah, the time. Yeah, I remember that. Um, yes, and I would just dab it on my pimple when I would have a breakout and, it, it, it's gone, right? And then I would dig into my makeup bag of all these goodies. So we actually have a product now that the same concept, it's an acne solutions concealer that treats wall covering up. And I think it's so funny yeah. because we still make <laughs> something that does that, but that was my go-to back in the right. day. So the product is still there, just yes. evolved into yes. something a little bit more contemporary. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that made the biggest impression yeah. on you. Um, for me, when I started with the brand, I started out in the education department and the woman that hired me, Diana, if you're out there, hello, <laughs> you made a big influence in my career. Um, she, I sat down with her because she was going to train me on all the products because I was coming from a, a different brand, as I said. So she actually said, well, let's figure out what you're going to use, Stephen. And she handed me, F, this bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> and it's our facial face soap for oily skin. And it's the soap that I use to this day because I, again, when she handed it to me, she said, you're gonna use this soap and this is the only soap you're ever gonna use for the rest of your life. And I was like, okay, new to my job, right? Okay. <laughs> so I take it home that night and I had come from another cosmetic brand and I thought I knew what clean skin was. But this product changed my life because it changed my perception of what my oily skin could feel like when I washed my face. So it's my go-to product. I, I, I used it this morning. It's in my shower. <laughs> and she also taught me not only what the product was, but she taught me this really cool tip. So our soap comes in a little plastic 
container like this, right? So when she opened it up, she said, and this is the drain tray that you use when you wash your face in the shower, you put it uh, perpendicular like this. So this way she said, when the water from the shower gets in, your soap doesn't sit in the water That's and so it gets smart. yucky. <laughs> and she said, it's gonna save you and it's gonna make it last longer. And I was like, wow, great product and a cool tip. So anyway, it, it's just what makes an impression on, on you initially, but my favorite cleaning product truly. I love it. I think everyone watching, there's, you know, you have that. All right, so you guys heard a little bit about our stories. Um, however, we thought we should have a little bit of fun. So, Stephen, uh. five words to describe you. Mm, okay, I'm gonna say organized, loyal, um, consistent, <laughs> structured, and I'll end with funny. I thought you were going to say rule follower. I am a rule follower, but that's, cons that's consistent, right? Yes, big rule follower, big rule follower. All right, my five words. All right, so I think I'm pretty energetic. I, I so. love to laugh and have a good time. I'm always trying to figure out how can you yeah. put the fun in something. Well, that's why we like working here, because we, we find the funny part of the entire day. So that's, that's great. Um, I would say that I am very passionate, so if I... If I'm obsessed with something, I'm very obsessed with, <laughs> with that. Um, and I'm a little competitive. A little competitive, <laughs> a little competitive. You just ran a marathon. I did just run a marathon. I'll never do it again. I, I don't think people that aren't, aren't competitive would run a marathon. So I would agree with those five for you. Okay, so five words to describe us. Now, when we're not wearing the lab coat, what do you like to do? Well, I am a mom and a wife, which is also like being a mom. So I am... <laughs> Sorry, Zach. <laughs> I am That's taking. I am taking care of others. Um, Caregiver. But I am <laughs> not really. I'm not very like caring, but I, I do take care of them. <laughs> um, but I love entertaining. So I okay. I do love yeah. taking care of my family, and um, I like entertaining and entertaining other people. Well, we really enjoy working together. So we actually have a lot of things in common when it comes to that. I too enjoy entertaining. I love to cook. Um, I think there's a really neat like creative process with that. I like to see if I can make a recipe turn out. Um, I love TV. I love anything television. I love all things entertainment. So when I am not wearing a lab coat, I like to veg out and watch my favorite shows on TiVo. And that to me is a great sense of relaxation. Um, like a good craft cocktail with my, yeah. with my TV viewing, <laughs> gotta say. Um, I love to clean and organize. I know that sounds weird, but I just love the sense of satisfaction you get when you do a project like that. And it's exactly the way you want it. And I also love to go and see things. Like I yeah. love to travel. I think it's important to go out in the world and see what's out there. So that's kind of what I like to do when I'm not wearing the coat. I love it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our first segment of Behind the Lab Coat and getting to know us a little bit better. Behind the Lab Coat. Behind the lab coat. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, I think the icon is popping up. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel, um, and we will be back t with you guys next week Absolutely. with a new beauty trend. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.